Hey, Emma Poole here, Wormwise Facilitator in the Waikato region. If you farm young cattle, you've probably been told that they're better off getting an oral drench for as long as possible. Now why is that? It's about killing as many of the drench resistant worms as possible. And when it comes to calves and R1s, the mode of delivery is really important. At the moment, the worm with the most drench resistance in New Zealand cattle systems is a worm called Cooperia. It's been highly resistant to the Mecton family of drenches for a long period of time and many slightly older vets will remember a period of time when we'd see sick and dying calves from large numbers of this parasite. And that was because farmers were using a single active Mecton poron and so it wasn't standing up to the test of time with these worms. Now people use combination drenches in calves and it's a lot less common to see this problem. Using drugs in combination makes it less likely that the resistant parasites will survive the treatment. But the power of combination lies in each drug working as effectively as possible on its own. And the mode of delivery is really important when it comes to maximising the power of each individual active. So Cooperia are already pretty good at surviving the mectin component of a combination drench, but you'll kill way more of them if you're giving it your treatments orally versus a poron or an injectable. Ag Research did a really cool piece of work where they compared the kill rate of porons, injectables and oral moxivectin against cuperia and carbs. Using the reduction fetal egg count as a measure of worms removed, the poron and injection only got rid of around half the worms on board, while the oral form of the same drug removed around 90% of these worms. So using combination and oral drenches in your calves means you'll have the best chance of having a high kill rate against the most common type of parasite in these animals. Big, well-grown yearlings will have developed their own immunity to Cooperia, but until that time, when it comes to drenching, remember one simple rule. Down the throat until they lose their first winter coat.